APIC, through funding from U.S. aid, worked with national stakeholders to roll out the COVID-19 vaccinations in the country. After almost two years of vaccine rollout, today Dr. Ezrom Dioni, the deputy controller of the National Control Center, highlighted the challenges and achievements thus far in responding to COVID-19. One of the challenges mentioned is lack of government support. You are aware that the PNG is a fragile health system that was created challenging on the pandemic. It's not only the health system that is fragile, we also have other governing systems and most importantly our community-based systems. Our people have to be resilient at the community level. Majority of our people live in the communities. We need to make sure that they have systems of referral, systems of governance. Dr. Dioni mentioned that partnership was very instrumental as an achievement in combating COVID-19 in the country. One of the successes that we actually learned from the pandemic outbreak <coughs> is having all partners with you. That's why the government in its wisdom set up what we call a joint agency task force. Deputy Secretary for the National Department of Health, Ken Y, also mentioned that partnership is the way forward to tackle health issues in the country. We are able to only cover and manage 30% within our domain and where our hands cannot extend far, where our legs cannot uh, go that far, where our eyes cannot uh, visualize far. That's where our partners come in. Country Coordinator and Active Senior Development Advisor for USAID, Rebecca Price, acknowledged the support they received from all stakeholders in PNG in rolling out the vaccine project. With her acknowledgement, she mentioned another additional funding for the EPIC project to continue. On that note, I'm happy to announce today that an additional $1 million in support to the C-19 RM funding has been approved by USAID for EPIC to work with World Vision and further lab and surveillance system strengthening efforts. EPIC is a five-year global project funded by the U.S. President's Emergency Plans for Aid, Relief and the U.S. Agency for International Development. It is dedicated to addressing HIV and COVID-19 pandemics. Cynthia Makuni.